Uh, this next song has nothing to do with anything we've been talking about for the past four minutes. But it does, uh, it does require a bit of setup. Please raise your hand if you do not know what I mean when I say the phrase urinal cake. Anyone? If there's no shame in it. Yeah. If you're not sure, yeah, mostly ladies. Okay, that's fine. If any of you don't know what a urinal cake is, please turn to the gentleman sitting nearest you and ask him sometime during the next verse and a half standing and enjoying the dub this song. The murmuring of urinal cakes. <laughs> that's my other George Michael <laughs> Sticking it to George Michael tonight, huh? Taking him down. <laughs> yeah, take that, George Michael. Uh, this song also involves my playing in this. Yeah, that's the proper response. That's not a promise so much as a threat that I will be playing this. So brace yourselves. This song is called The Ballad of Eddie Prager. We haven't sung it in a while, we did it for the first time in a long time last night, so I've got the lyrics on standby here. I'm hoping to not have to go refer to them. If at some point I refer to them during this song, I want you all to punish me by booing me a great deal. This part doesn't count though, this is just a, a quick pre-refresher. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Okay, I got it. Okay, you may also feel free to sway during this song. Stop, please, I'm getting motion sick. Never mind. Bad idea. Ballad of Eddie Craig. Later on the bar stool sat old Eddie Prager, filled with three schlitzes, three shots of rye. Joe the bartender poured two shots of Jaeger. Old Eddie down them with a belch and a sigh. The bartender thought that he heard Eddie mumble about draining the lizard. Then he asked for one more. He pushed back his stool and resignedly stumbled to the room with the stick figure man on the door. Had a faded pink discus, a urinal cake near the end of its days. Tired and misshapen, smelling slightly of citrus, a lifetime of battles headed for dear away. Eddie regarded his sweet smelling rival and began to attend to the business in hand. The condom dispenser and the 60 watt light bulb bore silent witness to the cake's final stand. He rode, he rode, he rode away over the cake she was bound to go under that day. He rode, he rode, he rode away with one final flush. She was gone. Sure. 
was gone. Old Betty Prager returned to his bender, never to think of the conflict again. And long after closing time, Joe the bartender placed a new cake where the old one had been. He